All right, so what I decided to do was actually create um, a completely new system here. Um, so I changed the complete uh, move around components. Um, I'm pushing a couple buttons here and nothing's happening, uh, but that's okay. <clears throat> the reason I wanted to do this is because it actually gave me more freedom. One difficulty I had was dodging. And with um, this new input system, I'm able to dodge. Now the animations are in yet, but I can uh, more or less try to move around if I need to. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do with the new input system was uh, create co-op. So I can actually have a completely independent character here. Um, both can move simultaneously, and um, yeah, so that was one of the major things I decided to do um, to, was to incorporate co-op and um, and the dodging just wasn't working for me, so I had to you know I had to change it over the, to this. Uh, the other um, couple major things, if you notice right here, is the coloring. Now, depending on the player, you'll actually get several different colors. Um, I'll eventually incorporate a uh, color changing screen. Um, but right now, I mean, even if I click the third player, it'll give me a, a yellow character. Once again, all the in, um, motions and uh, things are independent. <coughs> so just a quick review of the code here, just so it's you can see it. All right, um, basic movement stuff is going to be here. Some directional stuff um, also implemented. Um, this thing called lerp and that's what I used for the dodging so lerp I guess it's a math thing I'm never really great at math but um, it's uh, from moving from point A to point B within a certain amount of time so <clears throat> I'll show you that in a second here uh, this later, later portion um, is actually called the roll um, or the, the you know for the rolling stuff at least all right here we're assigning a game object now I'm using or excuse me a game tag um, the game tag is what I'm using for an index to determine who's player one versus who's player four um, I use that later on to um, to give one color schemes and also um, the position of an object so <clears throat> here we just have basic movement um, you know if you move along the x-axis if it's positive or negative will determine if you're going left or right then uh, if you're going the wrong way for whatever reason, um, I have this little thing. Excuse me, this little thing called flip, so it'll just face you the correct the correct way, and also um, ha uh, it has this little bullying, just whether or not you're facing this particular direction is true or if it's false. It's a little assignment there. Uh, here <coughs> is determining whether or not we should lerp, um, and once again, lerp is for rolling. Uh, here is the rest of the movement, just a. Uh, um, Quick little scan there. Here's the flip that I was mentioning. If you're facing the wrong way, uh, or if you're facing a certain direction, it'll flip the um, the animation as well as uh, just the sprite. So <clears throat> here we have the light attack and then the heavy attack. Um, right here, I have just a game, um, just it written out like, oh yeah, you're doing a light attack. This is you're doing a heavy attack. I don't feel like um, animating all the components for that. Uh, right here is all the roll stuff. So depending on the direction you're facing, um, well, let's. I guess we should probably start up here. Uh, so like I'd mentioned before, we're determining uh, the uh, who's player one versus who's player four, and then we're assigning it to that object, and then finding the position of that object. So player one's object in position will be different from player two's object in position. So based off this information, it'll determine, let's say we're looking at player one. So player one's um, position, we'll figure, uh, we'll figure out the, um, his position and where, what direction he's facing. So it's kind of a statement there. Which direction he's facing and we'll determine his roll uh, direction. Now the speed and stuff like that's actually on the main page, but uh, I guess I'll keep going real quick. Um, then here's the rest of the lerping function, which I'm not going to go into because, admittedly, don't fully understand it. Um, so here, if we click any one of these objects here, um, we can see that um, there are a couple components. Here we go. Here's the character input. It's a major script. Whoops. That is the major script. Not sure what's going on there. Ah, player script. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so um, we have the character's movement speed. Okay. See red. If I manipulate this to let's say here, it'll change the speed of the object. It doesn't show you much of a difference, but if we go up to like 200, uh, he's gonna zoom around like none other. Um, let's see. We have the time started lurping. So I really don't play with that. <laughs> uh, really, it's part of the cleanup that I have to do later. But the roll time. This is what I mentioned. Is one frame. So it takes. So he will roll a total of. Um, 
of uh, five frames in a matter of one frames, you know, at point one frames. So if I wanted to extend this to let's say 15, um, he can jump around a lot farther within a given point of time. So the uh, idea I took from um, that I used for this is I, I knew I wanted to use a roll, but one of the things that um, it, it was just difficult for me to do. So I ended up having to look up a, a dash function from um, uh, a game called Hollow Knight. They have a really cool dash, and essentially it's going to work the same way. I just have to animate it in the correct fashion, and it'll function as that roll. So, yeah, those are the major changes. Um, at a later point, I will change these sprites to uh, something different. And when I do actually change that, at that point, I'll, um, I'll begin animating and begin working on the, on the actual core components of the game.